hey welcome back guys so subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed thank you so moving on what we need now is to create before we can do this invite thing let's create a join button so people can actually join our group if they want to so the first thing of course is to create a button for join and then the way the join thing works is that uh, once you click join you don't you don't become a member immediately you have to be approved by an admin so we're going to see how that process will work mm -hmm. so let's begin by creating the button itself okay so let's go to group.php yes and let's search for the invite button which is right here and right next to it we are going to add the join button yes yes so value will be changed to join and then we are going to do that as well change this invite to uh, join okay now if you want it to be more specific you can say group join.php yeah, maybe there are other things on your website that you want people to join into and you want to know the difference between the two you can have group join and other joins later but for now we'll just name it as join to keep things uh, simple but just know that you can uh, change it to something more specific so let's refresh our page and there we go there's join so it's always a good idea to have at least a slight color difference in these buttons so that uh, people don't get confused so you can go to inspect element and go to the background color here and then we can easily choose a different color here uh, i don't know maybe that uh, looks uh, good uh, join okay so we can say join group if you want join group yes and then let's put that background color over here uh -huh. very good now this button should only show if you are not currently a group member yes so we have to be able to check whether this person qualifies as a member if not a member then there's no need or if you're already a member there's no need to ask you to join so this is the thing right here group access so we're just going to say group access member that's all we need to know is this are you a member or not true or false so here we only show if you are not a member so we're going to put an if statement here like this with php uh, and then we will say if let's put a full colon there and close that tag i will put my if there and put not so if not member yes then we will show that otherwise actually we just end the if here and if uh -huh. like this okay so let us refresh the page let me close that and let me refresh and you see that the join button disappears because of course i am a member of this group so let's try and be merry here so that we can uh, be given the opportunity to to become a member so i will log in like this and as usual i've forgotten the link to the group this is why i think we need a page that only shows groups and then you can choose what groups to join and so on so we're going to add that later but for now i'm just going to choose the same link that i was on and this is where we are so if i do refresh here you see that uh, join is not uh, showing up and that's because i did not log in as mary i have no idea why i went to the <laughs> to the wrong login for a moment there i thought maybe my code was wrong but turns out it was a wrong login okay so that's the correct user now so now let me go to groups to that particular group and then there's join group okay so pretty good now if i click here obviously i'll get page not found a 404 thingy there so 
not good now also the important thing is when you click join we have to know what group you want to actually join so those are the two things we need the group you want to join and the user who's requesting to join that group so since we know the user is the user that's logged in so that's not an issue the issue is the group itself so what i will say here is i will get group data because that's what contains our group data and i will put my slash over there then my php tags and then i will say user id because remember the user id is the group id like a this so we'll copy exactly this and do the same thing on invite because we will need that system as well so goody there let's refresh and if i point to this now i have a group id number at the end of the link so if i click you see that in the url so that's pretty good now the only thing we need to do now is to create the join.php uh, join.php so join.php file now what i need from here is to get a couple of things the include of course and you must be logged in of course so all this we shall uh, collect mm -hmm. wait a minute wait a minute okay 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 yeah i think this looks uh, pretty good okay so what i'll do is i'll copy this let me go to my book the main folder and create a new file paste the content uh, i forgot to get the php tags so let's do that okay and let me hit save and i will save this as join.php now join php is similar to like.php so this is what i actually need here so i will copy everything that is here for example um, let me copy from there to there i think this is more what i need so let me copy this to join and paste it here because we do need a return to here we need to know where to return and then if we can't find where to return we'll go to profile.php so what this does is it captures the Re referrer, the referrer, where we came from, of course, and then uh, we we use that to return. So if is set referrer, then we'll say return to, and then return to profile.php or else. Okay, so that is good. Now, once we have that done, it means when we get back to when we want to get back to where we were we are going to use this return to all right so <clears throat> what we need now let's look at the url there's a url zero which contains the page and then there's one so we are interested in number one which is right here and this number one is going to be the uh, the ID. So that's the group ID. Actually, we don't need to set this. Uh, let's set it this way. Let me zoom in, by the way. Like this. So let's remove that. So URL one, that's the one we want. If it is set, set it to that. But let's add some slashes here, or let's use the escape. Let me go to classes for a second here. I want to see what functions I have here. Tag. Okay, so that one is there. So what we will do is uh, we will escape there, like so. Okay, so if group ID, if this is set, then set it to group ID. If not, set that to no. 
I don't want us to set it to zero because you never know, there could be a group named zero and that could cause problems. Okay, so there we go. Now, at this point, we've gotten our group ID and we know who the user is because they have that going on there. This is the user's ID. So I'll copy this as well and say me is equal to that. But just for good measure, you can escape that as well if you want. All right, so now that we did that, all we need to do is create a query to send the request. Now, we don't really need to check if the group actually exists, uh, et cetera, et cetera, because sending a request is a harmless activity. It doesn't really impact uh, anything much. If we send a request to a group that doesn't exist, no one will ever actually see that request, so it's uh, pointless. So here, what I will do is I will say, query is equal to, so let's create a query. Or I forget that we are using uh, object-oriented programming, so we shouldn't be doing the things this way. What we should be doing is creating a new group. So I'll say group class is equal to new group like this. So keep in mind it's always object-oriented is, is the mode of the day. So what we will do here is copy this. Let's put that there and let's say, say uh, copy image class join. Oh, group class, sorry, join like that. But join is usually a, a keyword. So let's just say join group like this. Okay, so join group, just to be more specific. So for us to know uh, where to send the user, we need to know the group ID, that's number one. So let's put group ID and let's put the user that we want to join or to request a join. And that's actually it. Then from here, we will do a header, uh, location, and we'll do a return to like so and then die even though it's not necessary because we have nothing after this but just for good measure okay so that's about it now the only thing is we need to create this function inside the group uh, class so let me copy that and let's go to the classes group.php 